number two. Yeah. This just in, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. The CNN Center right now is just beginning to work on this story, obviously calling our sources and trying to... As Matt just mentioned, we have a breaking news story to tell you about. Apparently, a plane has just crashed into the World Trade Center here in New York City. It happened just a few moments ago, apparently. We have very little information available at this point in time. But on the phone, we do have Jennifer Oberstein, who apparently witnessed this event. Jennifer, can you hear me? Hello? Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Katie. Hi. Can you please tell me what you saw and give me any information about what's going on? So, but of course, the major concern is human oh loss. I mean, do you know if there were many people in the building? Oh, another one just hit. Something else just hit. A very large plane oh just flew directly over my building, and there's been another collision. Can you see it? I yes. can yes. see it on the shot. Oh my! Something else has you just. You know what? We that just saw like a plane circling the building. We just saw a plane circling the building. A second ago on the shot right before I that. I think there may have been another impact. Can you tell? I just heard another very loud bang and a. September 11, 2001. I recall I, it was a quiet day. Everything started normal. I was in Bilsek, Germany, uh, eight hours ahead of, uh, of, of Eastern time. And suddenly around four, close to four, um, I received a call that told me my son called me and said, uh, a plane just crashed into the World Trade Center. And I just been in New York a few days prior. So I, I thought it was a small plane, loss orientation. Suddenly, I, in my business, the first thing you do, you, you go to the emergency operations center and see what's going on. Um, suddenly, I walk into that room and there was my commander, the operations officer, just paralyzed watching the screens that were hanging from the ceiling. And I was speechless too, watching. And it, the, the incident, was in progress because uh, it's been minutes, but we were in Germany, so we didn't cut on right on time. But while we were there, suddenly a second plane hit the towers, uh, the, the other tower. And at that point, you know, we, we just, we were there speechless. And at that point we knew, if this is an act of terrorism, this from today on America will change the whole world will change as a result of what we were watching. Um, I used to drive a lot from New Jersey into New York or from Washington DC or whatever. And just before you hit uh, New York, you see them there. The, the towers representing the city of New York and representing freedom. The moment those towers went down and seen them like in slow motion as, as it was show over and over and over again, and seeing them go down, it's like something, they're taking something away from you. And in my business, it's, it's, it's more symbolic because it was a terrorist attack. And it was not only a war event, but it hurt right there in the heartland. And here we are, 12 years later, after that horrible day, and very little has changed since that day, especially in, in, in my job. Um, now we look at things more carefully than before. And then it's not only my job, I think it's everybody's job to be more vigilant, because lack of vigilance could have been why we, we got attacked. We were relaxed. And normally that's when we get hit the hardest. So I think we have come a long way in protecting the homeland, but we still have to be vigilant and report what you see, because you never know if, if your little contribution help uh, deter another terrorist attack like those of 911. My name is Chaplain Stephen Dix. I'm the garrison chaplain for Dugway Proving Ground. 
The video you have just seen is a small sampling of the millions of stories of resiliency from citizens of our great nation. Everyone will be able to remember throughout their lifetimes where they were, what they were doing on September 11, 2001. We were and are eyewitnesses to history. Although it was a well-concerted effort on the part of our enemies to break the spirit of Americans, as you yourselves can testify, well over a decade later, we are still a nation of patriots who stand together from all races, religions, cultures, and backgrounds, united as ready, resolved, and resilient. Dugway, a great place to work, live, and play.